Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to another gorgeous day in the garden. Today we are celebrating the first day of Hanukkah. It is November 28th. It is the festival of lights that we are celebrating and I'm so excited. We have such a beautiful color palette and I'm really really excited about this one because I think something is going to work really really well. Um, Hanukkah is the festival of lights and it's celebrating when, well the story goes, <laughs> <laughs> that uh, there was a temple and there was a lamp with oil in it and there was only enough oil for one night but they lit the lamp and miraculously it burned for eight nights so this story is kind of the modern equivalent of that that I recently heard was if your power was out and your cell phone battery only had a little bit of charge to it but miraculously it lasted for several days <laughs> um, and that actually hits kind of close to home because right before Thanksgiving we started getting like 50 mile an hour winds and the power company actually turned off our power for about three days. So it was interesting. Um, I was very grateful that I didn't have to cook Thanksgiving dinner with no power. We were going up to my mom's house. So I hope you all had a beautiful Thanksgiving and uh, got to spend some time with your loved ones. And I hope you will appreciate and join with me today as we celebrate the Festival of Lights. Uh, also, quick heads up, on December 1st, we are doing a collaboration with some amazing artists for World AIDS Day. So I hope you guys will check that out. Um, Sarah Mack and Kathleen Osmore, Brian's Upper Valley Artistry, Dominic Sherl Fluid Art, Yen, Mark, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'll list everybody for you at the end of the video and uh, I hope we'll see you there on Wednesday. Let's get started. This is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas. I have taped the back and put my push pins in and I have painted my sides and edges with one of my colors. Let me show you my colors now. The first one that we are using is Decor de Americana Decor in Deep Sapphire. And this is such a beautiful color. My pouring medium tonight is Mix Pour. You can get your own Mix Pour from Krista. Email her at Krista8974 at gmail.com. This is beautiful and luscious and I love this deep sapphire color. It's so sparkly and beautiful. It's very similar to Prussian blue but with sparkle. So that's the deep sapphire. And then I am using, where is it, this little one is Extreme Sheen in Aquamarine. This is also a deco art. Very, very pretty. So it is thick and it is leaving a mound on a mound, but if you notice, it's when it the mound edges are sinking into the rest of the cup pretty, pretty fast. So yeah, that's the aquamarine. Then I am using Amsterdam bronze, which I used when we did the fluid art experience in Texas. Such a beautiful color, it's a beautiful effects. I really like this one. Very, very similar to Golden's Iridescent Copper, actually. This is Amsterdam Bronze. And then, we get a little funky here. We are using a combination of DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in Sterling Silver and Golden Iridescent Pearl. I have mixed these two up. I had some pearl left and I added some silver to it. And this is going to be really interesting. But I love what the pearl and the bronze do, and I really like the silver with these blue colors, so I think it's going to be really, really neat. We'll see. Okay, and then last but not least, we are using one of my favorite colors. This is Golden's Prussian Blue. Very similar to that deep sapphire, but doesn't have the sparkle to it. It's gorgeous stuff. Okay, so game plan. We are going to use a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas. We're going to be doing a straight pour with thick paint, but we're going to layer the cup. So this is going to be much more Sarah Max style than Gina DeLuca. <laughs> Technically we need 21 ounces of paint for that size canvas. This is a 16 ounce cup. I'm going to layer it and see if we need any more. I do have a cup of flow extender in my deep sapphire, so we may or may not. We'll see. Okay. I'm going to start with a little bit of that silvery pearl and then we're going to come into the bronze and then we're going to put some deep sapphire in there. And then we're going to use the aquamarine and come back to the pearl. Prussian blue. 
So I'm using the lighter colors, the silver, the pearl, and the aquamarine to break up the blues. So now we're gonna put some bronze in there. And then the deep sapphire. I'm going to put some pearl on the outside of this one too. And a bigger chug. Okay. Alright. So. Okay. I'm going to put down a puddle of my bronze to pour into. So that our paint has something to slide on nice and easy and move around real easy. And we're gonna do a straight pour, not from super up high because I don't want a lot of blending. I want a lot of finger looms for this one. So, are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Yes, okay. Here we go. Okay, now we're gonna take, actually I'm gonna take some of my pearl and just go around this. I'm also gonna do the same thing with the bronze. Because remember, we needed 21 ounces of paint and we only put down 16. I think I'm gonna use some of the aquamarine also. So this is flow extender, but it might stay on there. That's okay. Okay, now we're gonna use the deep sapphire as the real flow extender. This one is actually thinner than those, but not by a lot. Make sure we have some in our corners. I'm not very worried about that because I have painted the sides and edges, but better safe than sorry. Okay, let's spread that out. So I was going to ask you guys, what's your favorite thing to eat for Thanksgiving? What's your favorite dish that you make? Do you have something that you're, you're the one who brings that every year? For me, it's a, <laughs> a cauliflower gratin, which I really love. Everybody loves it. And this year, my sister-in-law made it. She made it really, really well. It was delicious. I was very happy I didn't have to cook because we didn't have power. <laughs> that would have been an interesting trick. Barbecue, baby. I guess we could have done that in worst case scenario. See, HOA is always prepared. He's always got a solution. Camp stove. <laughs> we could have smoked a turkey, though. The blowtorch? <laughs> I just used torchy. Just torches. Just <laughs> blowtorches. torches in there. Nah, I wouldn't want to use torchy as a... To cook a turkey. Cut the turkey with a plasma cutter. Mm -hmm. Well, that requires electricity. Do you have a plasma cutter? I do have a plasma cutter. <laughs> what do you use a plasma cutter for? Cutting plasma. <laughs> Everybody's a comedian. I'm telling you. No respect. No respect at all. Okay. I'm just making sure the sides have a little bit of paint on them also because they did dry from when I painted them before. This is going to be so pretty. I love that center with a little bit of the pearl and the bronze in there. Beautiful. Very good. 
Dry my hands off and we'll give this a bit of torch. And the reason that I wanted to do a straight pour tonight, today, everything's tonight, you know what I'm saying? The reason I wanted to do a straight pour is because that kind of looks like a menorah. <laughs> Celebrating the festival of life. to talk to you guys about about using a thicker consistency paint is that if there are bubbles in it sometimes it takes a minute for the bubbles to actually come up to the surface I just drop that in there just now so just be patient also these layers of paint in a cup when you're pouring them and it's getting churned and aerated you know there's a lot of specific gravities and densities going on in there so if you get our patient and you wait a second or a minute or two and you let them sort of find where they want to be specific gravity wise then you end up with some really really beautiful effects if you just pour it right away and you start tilting you don't give that a chance to happen so patience in your painting in life um, no matter what faith you are I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season and celebrate the light in the world and be the light be the good that you want to see in the world. So, here we're going to start and do this right now. Okay. Mm, wise you are. Mm, mm, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, ma'am. Let's tilt this out. Semper Paratus. Let's, let's go around in a circle with this one. Because it is pretty and we do have a lot of flow extender on there, which is awesome. Just distributing the weight of the paint and spreading out the size of the circle to keep our pretty design in the center because I do like that composition a lot. It's very, very pretty. Some of you asked me why we don't shoot outside. I don't know if you can see this shaft of sunlight <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> on the painting, but it's kind of, it makes it hard to actually see. So by shooting indoors, most of the time, we've removed that as a problem. And you guys get to see a nice pretty picture, hopefully without too much glare or actual sunlight on the camera, on the canvas. So HOA is actually fixing the <laughs> you want a, a push pin? Sure. Ow! Dang. Ow! You're so funny. Yeah, it looks on everything though. <laughs> you need a uh, Mjolnir. Mjolnir, where are you? Mjolnir is my hammer. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. This is what I put my push pins win with. I don't attempt to push them in by hand. He can, but I can't. So I have a little rubber mallet. It works perfect. Okay. Let's finish tilting. Huh. <laughs> <It's> still there. <laughs> Just wait a minute. It'll be gone. It'll move. <laughs> well, I can move over a little bit.
shed these over a little bit and adjust where the composition actually is. crazy about the center though. What do you think, Shukordia? I wouldn't mind using a little more of the white. This is the one thing about pouring that's really awesome is that you can look at this like a road map and see like I love this part. That's the aquamarine and the silvery pearl next to each other with the Prussian blue. Yeah, I think I'm going to pour it again. I'm going to use a clean cup. And we're going to do this one more time with some adjustments to make it how I want it. So I'm going to use a kind of medium sized layer of the pearl, but I'm going to use the pearl more often. And the deep sapphire and the aquamarine. And the pearl. Thicker layer this time. And bronze. Prussian blue. And aquamarine. I'm also going to add more aquamarine than I did last time because it's pretty in there. It's very faint though. So the thing that I'm changing right now is I'm adding more aquamarine and I'm adding bigger layers of pearl instead of such small layers like I had before. I think we might move around a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go right in the middle. Are you ready, Chewie? Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, mother. I am ready. Here we go. Introduce some curve and twist. I like this better already. Sixteen ounce cup for this again and again. You usually need twenty-one ounces of paint for this size canvas, so that's okay because what actually might happen is we might end up keeping some of what's on some of the edges if we like it. Like I don't mind this corner at all.
This one looks more minor like than the last one. I was <laughs> just thinking that. Or a C and M and M and M and E. No, they're just so good. I like this one better already because there's a lot more contrast. There's a lot more dark and light. The last one I used a lot more of the deep sapphire and the Prussian blue and not so much of the aquamarine and the pearl. And I like this better. I like the contrast that we're seeing much better. And also because we're using mix, there's beautiful transparency. So we're seeing all these lovely layers. That's really neat. I really like this thing. Just a little bit more. Open this all up. this. This part's really beautiful in there. That silver with a little bit of the bronze and these darker lines and then these fingerlings are really, really pretty. So there was one that we did was um, Snow Pearl Mountain and I had some really beautiful fingerlings like that and then I I was trying to tilt them off actually because I wasn't crazy about them like it was sort of like this and then I did tilt them off and they got some of them that were left on there were kind of stretched out and when that dried it was so pretty so I am resisting the urge to mess with the fingerlings too much what do you think HOA composition wise we're good or you think we should tilt it out a little bit more no, I think it's great okay I just touched it again got paint all over my hand One thing I would wonder is what if that corner over there... I like that corner. <laughs> So what's interesting about this one is I think I used more of the deep sapphire which you see in through here and then I had Prussian blue in there and that's giving us that darker line I think in between like this veining almost. Now this part's really really pretty. So this one's probably not going to be dry in time to show you at the end of this video but I will show you guys on Tuesday for sure and you will see the dried results from the last one we did. <laughs> mood rings at the end of this video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful week. Happy Hanukkah to all who celebrate. Happy holidays to everybody. Um, no matter what faith you are, be kind, be good to each other, celebrate love, life, and laughter. So we'll see you real soon. Thanks for being here with me guys. Bye-bye. Be excellent to one another. Yes, be excellent to one another. That's a good choice. Okay, so this is mood rings. This is completely dry. This is a few days later. It dried so beautifully. I absolutely love this piece. These colors are just gorgeous and that iridescent pearl from Golden's is doing that poofy cloudy thing. Those soft puffy lines. Beautiful cells in here. Again, we're getting that little halo effect with the white and the gold. 
I just these colors are magical that iridescent gold is amazing the turquoise the green gold really softens a lot you can see it in here it's more of a shadowy highlight not so bold and brash but just dries beautifully you can see it more along this line too just gorgeous I really like this one a lot so this one was mood rings name inspired by my good friend Gina DeLuca <laughs> And I have one more that I want to show you. So this one is a 1530 and it's mood rings. I'll be right back. Okay, so this was the same colors. I had some paint left over. I should have shot this one. <laughs> HOA kept asking me and I was like, nah, it's okay. This one turned out really, really pretty. That same Prussian blue and the turquoise and the green gold and the gold and the satin enamels with the pearl. Really beautiful lines, lots of gorgeous depth in this one. This is a 20 by 20. Very, very pretty. I think this one's gonna be moody <laughs> to go with the sister painting mood rings. So this was awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here. I will show you the dried results from our straight pour festival of lights in the next video on Wednesday, December 1st. Uh, we are doing a collaboration for World AIDS Day. And I hope you guys will join me. I will give you more information on that very, very soon. Thank you for being here with us. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful Hanukkah. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.